Joanne Luga is overcome by grief each time she recalls how her sons, age three and four, died in the earthquake. It's so hard to believe that my sons are dead. It happened so fast. They were good boys. They always wanted to help me with everything I do, but now they're gone. On that fateful day, October 15th, Joanne's boys were very happy because their father brought home this bunch of bananas. But just after a few seconds, the 7.2 magnitude earthquake struck. And in an instant, their house collapsed. And they found their two boys lying under this concrete debris. One was found dead on the spot. The other one did not make it to the hospital alive. Fortunately, her two-month-old baby was pulled away before the bedroom walls fell on the hammock where he was sleeping. A family member convinced Joanne to attend a CBN medical mission in their village. This was the first time since the earthquake residents here received medical help. And the first time many shared stories on how the earthquake has affected them. A CBN counselor helped Joanne cope with her tragic loss. After hearing a salvation message, she surrendered her life and sorrows to Jesus. Her face lit up after the prayer. I feel so light. I feel relieved from the heaviness in my heart. Dr. Kim Pasqual heads up CBN's disaster relief work in the Philippines. She examined Joanne and her baby and gave them rice, noodles, sardines, vitamins, and diapers. Some CBN staff walked Joanne home so they can minister to her husband, Edward. The sudden death of their sons made him depressed and confused. For the first time, Edward vented his feelings of deep sadness and guilt. He too prayed to receive Jesus in his life. I'm very thankful that you have come to us. I realize that there is still hope, and all I need to do is trust God. Because of your help, I can smile. I am happy because there are people like you who care for us. The greatest need here is counseling and a listening ear. CBN would bring in our counseling center to teach trauma counseling to the existing churches in Bohol so that they too can reach out and help the, the people. A lot of people still need help, and every day CBN disaster relief teams are visiting unreached areas, sharing with the earthquake victims food, medical care, and God's love. Lucille Talusan, CBN News, Bohol, Philippines.